Samsung is about to shake the smartphone world in a way no one saw coming. The next Galaxy flagship isn't just an iterative upgrade, it's packing surprises that could redefine what a premium Android phone can do. From a display that's smarter than most laptops to cameras that feel almost professional, the Galaxy S26 Ultra might just leave everything else in the dust. Welcome back viewers, Sam here. Like, share, and subscribe for more! If you've been following the leaks, you know Samsung has been quietly stacking some of the boldest upgrades we've seen in years. Let's dive into everything that makes the Galaxy S26 Ultra a game changer. First up, the display. Samsung is reportedly bringing in the new M14 OLED, a leap forward from the S25 Ultra's M13 panel. Not only is it 20-30% more power efficient, but it promises better battery life without compromising on color or brightness. And here's a twist, Samsung isn't chasing record-breaking peak brightness. Instead, they're aiming for smarter, longer, lasting screens, which means your phone will stay vibrant while sipping power more efficiently than ever. But the real showstopper, a built-in privacy mode that narrows viewing angles, so nosy eyes on public transport or crowded cafes won't see your messages or banking info. Cameras are where things get really interesting. The main sensor jumps to a wider F1. 4 aperture from last year's F1. 7. Letting in more light for stunning low light shots. The 5X telephoto lens also gets an upgrade, improving night shots and keeping details crisp. Samsung is even rethinking lens coatings to eliminate flare and over processing. Finally, more natural colors and realistic skin tones. Video shooters will love this next feature. One UI 8, 5 introduces adjustable autofocus transitions. Snap focus for sports, pets, or fast action, or smooth, cinematic rack focus for that movie, like touch. It's the kind of pro, level control that makes your videos feel high, and without any extra gear. The front camera isn't left behind either, now a wider 22 mumler lens lets more people fit into selfies or vlogs, capturing group shots without awkward stretching. Charging speeds are finally catching up to our impatience. Rumors point to 62W Superfast Charging 3.0, smashing past the 4Vw limit of previous models. 0-50% to 50 in under 15 minutes could be a reality, and wireless top-ups are faster too, meaning less tethered to the wall frustration throughout the day. Powering all this is the rumored Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 or Samsung's own Exynos 2600, built on Sikkim M Tech. Early benchmarks suggest up to 40% better sustained performance over the previous generation. This isn't just raw speed, it's efficiency under long sessions, whether gaming, multitasking, or running AI, heavy apps. Combine this with upgraded LPDDRVX memory at up to 10, 7 GB piece and you get faster multi-frame HDR processing, reduced shutter lag, and smoother AI-powered tasks, battery life might finally see a tweak too. After six models stuck at 5000 meh, the S26 Ultra could jump to 5100, 5400 meh. Paired with a more efficient display and processor, this should translate into noticeably longer usage, all while shaving the thickness down to about 7. 9M. Sleeker, lighter, and still packed with premium durability. The design journey is worth noting. The Ultra is now adopting a rounder look, closer to the standard S26 models. It feels more comfortable in hand, reminiscent of the S21 Ultra's ergonomics, and the camera islands are color, coordinated with the body, subtle, stylish, and cohesive. And yes, Samsung is pushing a bold new tech first, the Tsikingam Exynos 2600 in the S26 and S26 Plus. Critics may have been skeptical of Exynos before, but this chip focuses on sustained performance and heat management with a special heat path block for longer, throttling, free use. The camera ISP supports 8K HDR recording with Samsung's new APV codec rivaling Apple's ProRes for uncompressed, professional, quality video. Low, light video noise is handled by deep learning video noise reduction, all while consuming 50% less power. Launch timing seems to be around late February for the press reveal, with general availability closer to March 2026. Early leaks already suggest that Samsung isn't just making small tweaks, they're aiming for headline, making innovations across the board. So, what do you think? 
Will the Galaxy S26 Ultra finally redefine Samsung's flagship line, or is it all hype? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear which feature excites you the most. And don't forget to share any questions about the new tech we might not have covered yet. That's all for today. But this is just the beginning of what's shaping up to be a very exciting 2026 in tech. Stay tuned, and I'll catch you in the next video.